بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ڈیئر اسٹوڈینٹس السلام علیکم آئی ویلکم یو ٹو آرمی پبلک اسکول پی ایم اے ریسورس نیٹ ورک بفور وی اسٹارٹ آر ٹوڈیز لیکچر پلیز سبسکرائب دس پیج اینڈ کلک آن دا بیل آئیکن ان آر ٹوڈیز سبجیکٹ انگلش لینگویج وی ول اسٹڈی دا سب ٹاپکس آف یونٹ تھری دیٹ از فوڈ glorious food and in english literature we will do the exercise of chapter 3 novel swiss family robinson students it's our week 7 i'm your teacher samia khatoon In our today's subject English language, I have divided my lesson into three parts. First, lesson one, describing food. Students, it's vocabulary two and we have studied vocabulary one of unit three in previous week. Lesson two is a recipe from Pakistan and lesson three is an email invitation. Let me tell you students that lesson 2 and lesson 3 are both creative writings for today. Students, here are some objectives of language lesson. First is to discuss the favorite food using adjectives. Second, to add target words to my vocabulary bank. third to discuss recipe of your favorite dish fourth to write any recipe by mentioning all the ingredients and proper steps and last is to write an email invitation by following the given format this is the picture of vocabulary 2 taken from your textbook you have to read it carefully and note the words in bold as you are going to use them in upcoming exercise okay the first is the sushi palace this is the number 1 palace for sushi in new york the sushi with cooked fish is very good but the sushi with raw seafood is spectacular second is the curry house if you like curry you will love this restaurant you can choose between very hot curries like vindaloo and mild curries like chicken korma students are you noting down the words in bold i hope so okay third one is beijing surprise the dish to order here is the superb sweet and saw chicken the best i have ever had Most of the food on the menu is very tasty although some dishes are a little bland So here some words are bold those are sweet sour tasty and bland Last is Wix clean and green Okay Wix was the first vegetarian restaurant in the city and it's still the best. All the food is from local farms and so it's super fresh and tasty. And everything's perfectly cooked. Not too hard, not too soft. In the previous slide we have seen vocabulary too. and you have noticed some food adjectives in the bold now you have to use those words here to complete these exercises 
These exercises are taken from your workbook. In exercise number two, you have to fill in these blanks with the help of those food adjectives which we have just seen in the previous slide. Now I may read these blanks for you. First is, this curry is so dash. Can I have a glass of water? Second, lemon juice and lime juice are both dash. Third, my favorite snack is dash carrot. It's so quick and tasty. Four, these papayas are delicious. They are really dash. Number five, Anika puts sugar in her tea to make it dash. Number six, these vegetables aren't dash enough. They need another 10 minutes. 7. I usually like hot curry. This one is quite dash. It hasn't got a lot of spices in it. But it's quite nice. Last is, my brother only likes really dash food like pasta with no sauce. I think that's so boring. You have to use now the suitable food adjectives according to the text of these blanks. Now come to question 3. Write sentences to describe the food in the photos with the words in the box. Students, you can see there are 4 pictures of different foods and four food adjectives are given in the box. They are bland, raw, hot and sweet. Hot and sweet are familiar to you, but bland and raw can be new to some of you. So let me tell you what is bland. It is a food which lacks strong flavor which is not so up to the mark and raw is the food which is not cooked which is not uh, so delicious it may be in the natural state you can say okay first one has been done for your help you can see the gulab jamun in the picture and how is the gulab jamun described Gulab jamun is sweet. Now your task is to describe rest of the three foods with the help of the words bland, raw, hot. Now starts our lesson 2. A recipe from Pakistan. Students, Pakistanis are known for their generosity and cooking skills. People from many countries come to try famous dishes. Now, you have to watch the video on how to make chicken karahi on the link given below. It will help you to write a recipe of your own. So here is the link which you have to follow. After watching the video, you have to go the following steps. First, make a list of ingredients, means the item used for your dish. And write down the instructions. Instructions means the steps in which you will tell the details of how your dish will be prepared. Then, you can also consult a recipe book to see how recipes are written. Students, there is a proper way of writing the recipe of any dish. If you don't know, you can consult any recipe book. You see that famous chefs used to have their recipe books. So you can consult any recipe book and uh, let me tell you usually in 
recipes first the name of the di dish is written as a heading then ingredients are given in the form of the list and then method is given in the form of instruction and it is usually step wise okay then write step wise instructions in simple english and if you are creative enough you can draw the image of the dish also let's come to lesson 3 writing an email invitation students if you remember in our previous weeks we have studied the email in detail so it would be easy for you to write an email invitation okay invite your friends to your birthday party by writing a short email invitation include the following information in your email first when and where the birthday party will take place number 2 what activities will take place to entertain your friends number 3 ask your friends to let you know if they are coming then give your address and at the end sign off This is all what we have discussed when we were studying the email format students a sample email invitation is given in your student book page 45 so kindly consult page 45 before writing your email invitation in our previous slides we have seen our three lessons describing food writing a recipe and writing an email invitation now here is success criteria to attempt the written work successfully first use adjectives to describe the food number 2 write complete recipe with list of ingredients and proper steps steps here means instructions and write an email invitation using email as a reference from page 45 exercise 2 of your textbook and last is give information in email in organized manner my dear student it's a combined video of the syllabus of english language and literature for week 7 and till now we have studied english language now let's see what we have to do in english literature today our novel is swiss family robinson and it's an adventure novel in previous week you were directed to read unit 3 loudly at your home and note down the important events and new characters in the story in this week we are going to see half of its exercise Before going into the details of the exercise let's see the learning objectives the learning objectives are to recap unit 3 to start written work to put the given events logically in the order in which they occur to use naming words properly for filling the blanks and to describe the main character of your favorite story In the previous week your task was to read unit 3 loudly at your home and note down the progress in the plot of the story and today we are going to see its exercise but before going into the exercise we should take its recap 
So here is the recap. The first important point in the story was Robinson's family life on island. The family after shipwreck came to the shore. They made a tent house there and got settled. Then Jack picked up a lobster from the shore. We have seen that Jack is an active member of the family and he always likes to do something extraordinary to show his family. So after settling down on the shore, Jack went to the sea to pick up some seafood. So he found a lobster there. What happened then? Come to the blue box. Jack killed the lobster and pastor taught him to be kind to animals. Yes. When Jack picked up the lobster, it bit him so hard that Jack was crying with the pain. Ultimately, Jack picked up a stone and killed the lobster rudely. Pastor taught his son to be kind to the animals. He told his son that it was in his nature to protect himself from any danger. Then, Fritz found an agouti. A goatee is a small animal which lives underground and eats fruits and nuts. Then what happened? Turk and Ponto killed the agouti. So Fritz was very sad. Turk and Ponto are the dogs kept by the family. When they saw the agouti, they killed it for the sake of their food for which Fritz was feeling extremely sad. And Pastor taught his sons to be calm and kind. We have noticed that Pastor is a very wise man. And we have seen that at many times he gave many useful advices to his family. After recap, let's come to the following exercises. In exercise 1, complete the sentences with the correct names. Yes, some actions are given with the blanks and you have to fill the blanks by choosing the correct name of the character who did that action. Exercise 2. In exercise 2, put the given events in order which they happened. Write 1 to 6 in the boxes. Yes. In this exercise, 6 events, 6 statements of the chapter are given in the jumbled order. You have to put them in the order in which they happened and you have to write down the sequence 1 to 6 in the boxes given. Then exercise 3. Complete the sentences using the prepositions in the box. In exercise 3, some prepositions are given. You have to fill the blanks with suitable prepositions. My dear students, if you remember, I gave you an additional homework in the previous week. 
and that was to read your favorite short story or any novel. Now let's continue with that additional homework. You have to complete the story and do the following exercises. First, write a review of novel or short story which you have read. Second, why did you or didn't you like the main character? Means, if you like the main character, you have to tell why. And if you don't like the main character, what is the reason behind? And third is, what was the best line you like from the story? And, did you like the story and would you like to recommend it to others? There is always a road to success. So here is your success criteria. Number one, recall the important events for written work. Number two, use the correct naming words according to the events in exercise one. Number three is, put the given events in the order they happened. And last is, use appropriate prepositions from the box to fill in the blanks in question 3. Thank you so much.